Welcome back. Budding wrestler Anisha Daya and her brother's murder in broad daylight in Sonipat has once again exposed the seedy underbelly of Indian wrestling. Not long back, decorated wrestler Sushil Kumar, a two-time Olympic medalist, was arrested for the alleged murder of a junior wrestler. These cases are the ones that have caught the limelight and there are many that are brushed under the carpet. India Today tries to encapsulate the growing wrestler criminal nexus in this special report. Take a look. He was the flag bearer of Indian wrestling. His achievements were a story of inspiration that were told and heard so that others could follow his footsteps. However, his story once again became the talk of the town. This time, for all wrong reasons. Sushil Kumar was nabbed by the police in connection with the alleged murder of a young wrestler, Sagar Dhankar, at the Chhatrasal Stadium, considered by many the mecca of wrestling in India. The arrest of two-time Olympic medalist exposed the dark underbelly of Indian wrestling, which on one hand has given India the most number of individual Olympic medals and on the other, the connection it has with the crime world. What has happened with Sushil in the last six months is not something alien to the wrestling world. But with the involvement of a high-profile name like this, the image of the sport has taken a massive dent. No, no, Thousands of wrestlers train day in and out in the hundreds of Akhadas all over the country. But not every one of them go on to represent India at the highest level. What are the options that so many of these wrestlers are left with? Many failed wrestlers become bouncers. Some join mafia gangs. Some take up the roles of recovery agents for banks and are often used by political parties for muscle power. खिलाड़ी जिस मुकाम पे रिजर्वात मेहनत करके पहुंचता है, फिर खिलाड़ी के बनने के बाद कुछ लोग जो पीछे से उनके साथ जुड़ जाते हैं, वो कहीं ना कहीं इन लोगों को मिसगाइड करते हैं। Also there is a need to keep a tab on wrestling academies that are mushrooming. तमाम लोग फर्जी नामों से एकेडमी बना लिए हैं, तो इस पर विचार करेंगे कि फेडरेशन क्या कर सकती है। अब हम ओलंपिक में मेडल आवे, वर्ल्ड में मेडल आवे, दुनिया में नाम ला रहा है, उसके लिए कर रहा है, कौन सा क्या कर रहा है, उससे क्या मतलब? The recent incident of a young female wrestler who was allegedly shot down by her coach in broad daylight in Sonipat's Halalpur has once again reared the ugly head of crime in wrestling. Nisha Dahia was shot to death inside the premises of Sushil Kumar Wrestling Academy and her younger brother was also killed a few meters away. Adhaniya Sushil Kumar Pahlawan Ji, who is a two-time Olympic medalist, there is no one from this event. And there is no one from this event. This event is from Sonipat. In Sonipat, the name of the Sushil Kumar Ji is the Wrestling Academy. We are working for the Sushil Kumar Ji. There is no one from this event. Police have nabbed the suspects, but the family of the deceased insist that Coach Pawan had been molesting Nisha for some time. वो काफी दिन से परेशान भी कर रहा था इस लड़की को परेशान किस लिहाज से अब मेरे को ऐसे मोलस्ट भी किया है क्योंकि मेरे को पता चले हैं तो उसी बात को लेकर के उसने कई बार इनको कंप्लेंट भी किया था मेरी मिसेज को भी किया था लेकिन मेरे को नहीं बताया Many of the girls have turned away from wrestling just after a few years following such incidents, which on and off do come to light, but majority of the times they are pushed under the carpet. भी एकेडमी में ऐसे नहीं मिलते कहीं पे सेफ्टी है तो अच्छे कोच नहीं हैं जहाँ पर अच्छे कोच हैं वहाँ पे सेफ्टी नहीं है सेफ्टी बहुत पहले होती है प्रैक्टिस सही पहले सेफ्टी लड़कियों की हरियाणा इस रिगार्डेड एस द नर्सरी ऑफ रेसलिंग एंड सिंस 2008 व्हेन सुशील वन द ओलंपिक ब्रॉन्स ऑल द मेडल विनर्स आर फ्रॉम and there are some prominent cases 
where wrestlers have found themselves on the wrong side of the law. Rakesh Malik was nabbed by Rohtak police in connection with the murder of a liquor contractor in 2017. In 2018, Dalal, who hails from Mandoti village in Haryana, had opened fire at ex-JNU student Omar Khalid. Wrestler coach Sukhwinder Singh had opened fire in Rohtak's All India Jot Heroes Memorial College Gymnasium, in which five people were killed. These are just a handful of cases, and the Delhi police has booked dozens of wrestlers on charges of murder and attempt to murder, among others. In 2018, a massive fight broke out at the Indira Gandhi Stadium between Sushil Kumar and Parveen Rana, both aspiring to represent India at the Commonwealth Games that year. The president of the Wrestling Federation of India, Bridge Bhushan Singh Sharan, is a Bahubali Neta and is a member of parliament from Gonda in UP. He himself has several criminal cases against him. There are many, though, who think targeting the entire wrestling fraternity due to these incidents is unfair. देखो जी बहुत रेसलिंग एक ऐसा गेम है जो सबसे ज्यादा मैं तो मानता हूं कि अनुशासन और हार्ड वर्क इससे ज्यादा कुछ भी नहीं है तो सबको यही कहूंगा कि एक अच्छे नजरिए से सब रेसलिंग को देखें जो जिस तरीके से और गेमों को देखते हैं क्रिकेट है या ओके है किसी को भी तो सब रेसलिंग को एक अच्छे नजरिए से देखें और कई बार जो दुर्घटनाएं हो जाती हैं वो काफी अलग-अलग होते हैं और हर फील्ड में हो जाती हैं तो पहलवानों के जो कहता हूं मैं सब सबको एक अच्छे नजरिए से देखना चाहिए it's true that cases like Nishada Hia and Sushil Kumar's have exposed the criminal underbelly that exists within the wrestling community. While it's important to clamp down on the wrestling mafia nexus, it is also important that our budding wrestlers don't suffer due to a few bad actors in the community. Sports Bureau, India Today. The fall of India's most successful wrestler, Sushil Kumar, has shocked the world. Sushil was arrested for the alleged murder of a junior wrestler, one who considered the decorated Olympian as his idol. So what really transpired there? Here's a reminder of what went down in the Sagar Dhankar murder case. The day when India's most celebrated Olympic hero turned a villain tarnishing his famous legacy forever. The police probing Sushil Kumar say on that fateful night, he and his henchmen kidnapped a junior wrestler named Sagar Dhankar along with three of his friends. The group was picked up from a flat in Delhi's model town. Sagar, a fan of Sushil himself and a junior national champion, was allegedly abducted at gunpoint. He was taken to the nearby Chhatrasal Stadium, a renowned wrestling venue. His crime? Not paying two months' rent for a flat he stayed in. The flat is owned by Sushil's wife and Sagar had not paid off despite repeated pressure from Sushil Kumar. Sushil and his aides then started brutally beating Sagar and his friends. The police say Sushil and his henchmen also opened fire to scare the victims. The police say that dreaded gangsters from Lawrence Bishnoi and Kala Jatedi gangs were present at the spot during the murderous assault. Sushil Kumar fled when the police reached the spot after a call from one of the victims. But one of Sushil's aides was arrested while hiding in a vehicle parked outside the Chhatrasal Stadium. This led the police to suspect Sushil's role in the crime. Sagar was hospitalized in grievous condition. He succumbed to his injuries later. His death in the battering by Sushil has ensured the glory of the Olympic winner is tainted now beyond repair. With Arvind Ojha in Delhi, Bureau Report, India Today. Several wrestlers are also doubling up as bouncers and are being used by gangsters to settle personal scores. Using their menacing personalities, the gangsters manage to extort money and recover debts. This special report is going to tell you exactly how these wrestlers turned bouncers are being used to intimidate people. They are around celebrities. They stand guard at pubs, bars, malls and toll plazas. Big and bulky bouncers are mostly outsourced employees. Gangster Kala Jatheri, whose rivalry with Sushil Kumar 
led to the killing of Sagar Dhankar as an army of such bouncers and was planning to take complete control of toll booths across Delhi, UP and Haryana. Jathedi in fact wanted Sushil Kumar's help in this. Several wrestlers turned bouncers or indulge in land grab to settle property disputes. Some join mafia gangs, become recovery agents for banks or are used by political parties for muscle power. So few persons, few wrestlers, few bodybuilders who sometimes while doing their job involved in some criminal activities, then definitely they have to go to jail. And while they, uh, they are in jail, they sometimes come across with the earlier gangsters or other criminals and that's how the nexus between the criminals and uh, wrestlers and bodybuilders starts. The bouncer gangster nexus is not new and it thrives when wrestlers are unable to make it big in the sport. On 24th February 2012, eight bouncers were held for beating up the chief security officer of a pub in Nehru Place in Delhi. On 6 May 2018, a gym owner was killed at a bar in West Delhi's Punjabi Bagh area. He got into a fight with the DJ over repeated requests for his favourite song. The argument turned fatal. On 22nd July 2020, three bouncers were caught with a car that they had stolen after assaulting the driver. Delhi police sources say over two dozen wrestlers have been booked for murder, attempt to murder, intimidation and assault in last one year. Most of these cases are either related to fights in bars or in the Akharas. With Tanseem Heather and Munish Pandey, Bureau Report, India Today. With that, it's a wrap from me, Chaiti Narula, on this bulletin. For further news and updates, don't forget to log on to indiatoday.in or go ahead and download our app.